Hey guys, welcome back to another code.org tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at server-side variables, whereas in tutorial number two, we looked at, uh, I called them variables, but they're actually what we would call local variables. So to get a little bit of a better understanding of the differences, um, so what we talked about last tutorial was local variables. This time we're going to be looking at server-side variables. The difference, uh, if you recall from the previous tutorial, is that local variables, the value resets each time you restart your app or each time you test your app. However, a server-side variable will always retain their value. So let's put this into practice and uh, hopefully you can see this in action and it'll make a little bit more sense afterwards. So here I've got running my uh, previous uh, app. So I've always got a variable that is zero here, right? And it increases by one each time. So no matter, whenever we restart our app, the, ver the value always starts at zero. Okay, so uh, we always, each time we click on our button, uh, it always starts counting from zero. I know that sounds a little bit strange uh, saying that right now, like why wouldn't we start counting from zero? Um, it'll make a little bit more sense when we start talking about server-side variables in just a moment, okay? But just note that it always starts from zero, okay? Or we could actually, we can modify this to starting from 10, uh, or 20, or seven. Okay, so if we run this, this always starts from seven. So the next value is eight. 9, 10, okay? But each time we restart this app, again, that first value is always going to be 8 because we start our x variable at the value of 7. Okay, uh, let's get into server-side variables now. So to create a server-side variable, we need to go over here to uh, data. We're going to create a key-value pair. And I'm going to call this... Uh, I'll call this server counter, just to distinguish it with the regular variable. And this value will also start at zero. And add this. Okay, so we have a key or variable name called server counter, and the starting value for that is zero. Okay, let's get into our code and see what happens. And what I'm gonna do here is, I'm actually gonna create two more text boxes so we can distinguish between the two. Okay, I'm just going to resize this and put server variable here. So we've got text server variable underscore one. Two do exactly the same thing. Create another text area. And we're going to go server variable here. And we're going to change that into text server variable underscore two. Okay, so change the ID and change the text. Okay, last thing we're going to need to do is we want to put the actual value into this. Okay, to do that, we're going to go over here to data as opposed to variables. So um, local variables. We deal with that all under the variable controls here, or they're all purple in color. Server-side variables are all green in uh, color, and it's called data. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get a value. Okay, we're going to get a value in both of these, and then we're going to set our text box to that value. So set text, set text. Okay, now it says get key value key. Okay, let's over, look over here at our data. So key refers to the name of your variable. So I'm just going to copy that actually, server counter. So where it says key, I'm going to change that to server counter. And value is this. And what the computer actually does is that it copies this number into value here. So when we see the word value, it's actually referring to the numerical data that's stored in the server counter variable. Okay, and we could actually modify this, but we'll just leave this for now. OK, 
Okay, and I'm going to put the value in here. And we're going to set our, we're going to screen two. So we set server variable two to value. And here I'm also going to get set server variable two, one. Right, because we're in screen one, I'm going to set this to value as well. Operation. So we've got next. If that is zero, go back, that's also zero. Right. Okay. Now, um, just to improve on it a little bit further, I'm also going to make it perform a counteraction as well. So uh, rather, after we get our value, we're now going to set our value. Okay, so this is actually very similar to what's happening before. Let's come in here. So before, uh, we saw this part in orange. Okay? That happened first. So that's the same as getting the key value. Okay? Once we get the value, the purple part operation sets the value or the variable value. Okay? So we get first, then we set afterwards. Okay? And that's exactly what happens here. We get an orange, and then we perform an update operation, then we set that value. Okay. So it's actually going to be the same here. We're going to set, let's zoom back out, set our server counter. And this is going to be the value that it was plus one. And likewise, this is also going to be the same. We're going to set the key value to be the server counter and we're going to add one more to this okay so once we set the value um now we're going to see something interesting because it's not getting work completely properly just yet uh, but let's see this in action it'll sort of work okay so that's zero that's one good it's kind of working two three Four. Okay. But if we think about it, really, the first value here should have already been the starting value. Of it, okay? Now, the other interesting thing you're noticing is that this is the, has the value of 5. So it's 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now, I can restart my app. And notice that this has gone to 9. Okay. So it's actually remembering, even though I restart the app, it's continuously remembering what the server value is, right? So that's continues on from 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, reset, okay? And again, 21, 22, okay? So that's the difference between a server variable and a local variable. The server variable will always stay updated. So if we go over to our data, we can actually see that the current value is 23. But we're actually seeing 22. And if we click on next again, so we're seeing 23, but it's updated to 24. Now, there's a little bit of discrepancy here, but it is it, it does explain mostly how a server variable works because it remembers the starting value of it. Okay? And we'll fix this discrepancy, and I'll explain that in my next follow-up tutorial. See you guys next time.